All right, I would like to talk to you guys about uh, direct vent appliances with the kind of an integrated concentric vent and supply. And specifically, I'm going to show you a couple of applications. And I ran across these in the field. Um, they are, um, I've seen probably more, uh, just as many water heaters as I've seen um, individual appliances that were venting it. but. Um, the ones that gave me the most trouble were probably the water heaters and um, and I can I'll show you a little bit of how that works. So let's first of all hit up on this. So the code book describes actually in, in 1235 talks about a direct vent appliance and specifically listed direct vent appliances and how this should be installed uh, in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and that is very very true. They are um, a very unique system and a lot of their functionality is dependent upon their pressure planes and the differences in pressure between one side and another. So let me show you what I mean by that. So in this particular appliance, I'm going to zoom in on here. So what I actually have is a, an image of a what we call a little bit of a almost like a wall, direct vent wall furnace. So in this uh, image here, Got a wall furnace that's here, and it could be a vertical one. This one here happens to be more like a looks more like a PTAC. And let's look at how that works. So what happens in a in a concentric or a direct vent appliance, a true direct vent appliance, the way these are set up is they will have kind of a duct within a duct or a vent within a vent. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So what they have is they've got it where there will be combustion air that is going to be needed for the for the burning of the of the products of combustion. That's going to make its way down and get into the areas where the burners are. Okay, that's what that's going to be. So this will feed air directly into that. The burn combustion gases have to make their way out the middle tube. So these hot gases are going to be venting out, in fact, not through that, but they will actually kind of vent out this way and this way. So the, this is really hot. This is going to be, and hopefully this air is going to be very cool. The combustion air from outside would be very cool. So they will have this portion right here, this whole area here and here. That whole tube or whole pipe, there's got to be a gap between here and here. You need to have that gap. So that particular gap has to be big enough to allow air to come in from the outside. Now, this is one of these where um, there's a couple of reasons why that's a great idea and how they do that. So I can take this cooler air that would be in because of this big air space that's in that middle section here. I'll get rid of some of my drawing here. And I can get, so this nice cool air that's going to be in this section right in here that's nice and cool and nice and cool, you don't have to have as big of an air gap because you already have your air gap in this special de, uh, specially designed uh, vent system and intake system. So we've got that, that good cool outside air. That's going in here and here, and you've got your really hot combustion gases that are going to be leaving this system and doing that. So that's the way it's supposed to work. Now, on a system down below, I want to show you another one of these systems that's out here. And this is one of these where um, the first time you ever see one of these, you're going to wonder, what in the world is are they doing? And what will happen is there will be a specialty vent pipe very similar to the picture that was above that's all pre-designed and manufactured from the manufacturer of these devices okay and I'm gonna finish this drawing all the way over to here as an example so now this has to be connected that pipe has to see those hot gases make its way on out of this middle pipe it absolutely has to do that and it'll come out and either it'll go straight out or they might even have a cap 
that'll force it to go this way. Um, the ones that I have seen, they have come straight out of here on these. All right, now, there is another pipe now. So this termination plate that they have is, is kind of the key here. So you have to have the ability to get air or combustion air, and it must come from this path. So I'm actually gonna change my pen to a little bit darker color here. And so the colder air that I'm drawing in here is going on the outside of this pipe. And it's going in all the way on the outside of this pipe. And it has to make its way in a, at some path that gets down into this combustion area where it's burning. And all the way around the outside of this thing. And it's gonna feed combustion air directly down to this appliance. So now keep in mind, down on the bottom here, you're going to have a burner that's going to be, that's your flame, okay, coming from the gas valve. And then all those hot gases are going up a center tube and they're making its way directly from there. So all the heat's got to make its way up to here and on out. All right, now where you can get into trouble on that is if this is not installed correctly or and I'm going to give an example the situation that I had with a I had a, a situation where the customer had removed this panel they had removed this panel right in this little area now when they did that that was a that was kind of a big problem because what happened was they were in an area, this was installed in an area that um, had on just the right wind that particular day. And the wind was pushing back against the vent gases. Now when it did that, it did not have the air coming directly in. It did not have the air coming directly in to the intake pipe because of the pressure plane by by him taking this off and he had some of this stuff disconnected the gases instead of going out the vent pipe because we were controlling that air it pushed that right backwards down through the vent system and it was basically blowing flames directly out that that side so this would be the same thing that would happen really even in a, a, a let's say a fireplace that had a glass front that was all sealed up and it had a dedicated intake and exhaust, the same thing would apply. If you do anything to, um, if just the right wind conditions or whatever it might be, that will cause us to have these issues with that venting not working correctly. So I'll get rid of that. So the key on these is to have these connected correctly, to have your pipe have those pipes connected directly in here. This has to be connected here and here. It's got to be connected to the outlet. The outer pipe, okay, the outer pipe has got to be connected to allow the pressure plane. So if whatever pressure is, whether it's a wind blowing this way, whatever that pressure plane is, the exhaust is seeing the same pressure as the intake air and that has to be the case so those are typical of systems that would be you know let's say even your your tankless water heaters can be this way um, your uh, this one here is a tank type water heater that's shown here but it the key thing to making these work is you must absolutely have the intake air and the exhaust air has got to be connected directly to the dedicated portions on that appliance or they will not work consistently and you'll have problems with flames pushing back um, if it can't be in the right pressure plane um, in some cases there's you know sometimes people have had to do some some odd things where they might have had to put a wind barrier on there to if the wind was so strong but it, it's very dependent on application specifics i'm sure there are some some direct vent um, termination kits that are better than others as far as uh, handling that. But that's a little bit on essentially a direct vent appliance. So if you ever run across a duct system, 
Um, similar to what you're what we're seeing right in here if you ever see something like that and you're wondering what in the world are they doing there um, be careful with that that is one of those where if, if that isn't connected perfectly or correctly and under the right wind conditions if you pull this part off here um, it'll lead to some uh, it'll least lead to some flame rollouts which you of course do not want that so as a little explanation of how a dedicated direct vent appliance with a concentric vent and supply uh, function.